echocardiographic profile in bioprosthetic mitral valve. Echocardiogram of bioprosthetic mitral valve in parasternal long axis view showing the mitral valve in open position. Bioprosthetic valves can be with or without stents. This image is from a stented bioprosthetic valve. The porcine valve is fixed in glutaraldehyde. The low profile stent is made up of an acetyl homopolymer. Stentless valves have a larger orifice than stented valves. Fairly laminar flow is seen across a bioprosthetic mitral valve in parasternal long axis view. Most of the flow is in single color though some variance is seen. Small areas of turbulence are seen as mosaic multicolored regions. Lateral diameter in this view is slightly more than that of the aorta indicating residual left lateral dilatation from the mitral valve disease. This is the short axis view of bioprosthetic mitral valve apparently simulating a mild rheumatic mitral stenosis due to the echo density of the valve stent. But there is a good central orifice. Bioprosthetic mitral flow as seen from apical four chamber view. The flow is slightly turbulent in this view possibly due to the different settings of Nyquist limit due to changes in depth of imaging compared to the parasternal long axis view. A trivial aortic regurgitation jet is also seen. Mitral flow on pulse Doppler interrogation indicating that the velocities and gradients are not high across the bioprosthetic valve which is functioning well. Normal gradients across a prosthetic valve are higher than those across a normal valve but varies depending on the type of the processes and the location. Prosthetic valves at the aortic position can have a higher gradient than at the mitral position basically because of the smaller orifice size and the higher force with which left ventricle ejects. Aortic regurgitation jet on continuous wave Doppler. The jet is incompletely seen as the volume of regurgitation is only trivial. Normal aortic forward flow is seen as a small spectrum below the baseline. Continuous wave interrogation is used because the velocity of an aortic regurgitation jet is much above the Nyquist limit of the pulse Doppler system. Continuous wave Doppler can evaluate high velocity jets but cannot localize the exact site of the jet along the axis. Video clip of echocardiogram in bioprosthetic mitral valve. You can see the valve annulus here and this is the color flow, short axis view and the mitral jet is seen here, forward jet, AR jet in uh, uh, continuous wave is seen here and you can see AR uh, jet in color Doppler also briefly in the previous view. You can see both anti-grade mitral flow and retrograde aortic flow.